been nine long months since we've said it, but we are thrilled to be saying it once again. Welcome to Bobcat Stadium as we get ready to embark on the 2017 season of Texas State Bobcat football. Today marks the beginning of year two of the Coach Withers era, and it starts with a matchup against the Houston Baptist Huskies out of the Southland Conference. It's that back to Williams against a four-man rush, throws a deep ball to the near side, high arcing throw, and a diving catch on his back is made by Elijah King inside the 40-yard line. Just inside the Bobcat sideline of the 36th first down. It felt great just to be back with my team for one. Uh, nine months ago to this day, I couldn't walk. I had surgery. But uh, without the guys up front blocking, Damian making the correct reads, I wouldn't be able to do what I did. Really, at the end of the day, I just did my job description. And coach called my number, and I tried to make a play. Clock winding down, down to three. And takes a snap. Here's a blitz. Six-man rush. Williams throws off his back foot. Passes nearly intercepted. Looking for Tyler Watts at the right hash of the 20-yard line. That's a turnover on downs. Second to goal, two-yard line. Out of the shotgun again. Zappi, Bobcat stack in the box. Hand off Peters up the right side this time. Twisting forward, and he's in for the HBU touchdown. Danny Garza's snap is good. The kick is blocked. A live ball picked up at the 15, but a tackle made at around the 19-yard line. So the Bobcat special teams who really makes a play. Long snap count. Williams will find Finally take it off a play fake, looking over the left side. Now throws left, pass caught on the run by Elijah King across the 30, 35, and across the 40. He's across midfield out of bounds. And they're going to mark him out of the Bobcat 49-yard line, gain of 26, and a first down. From the 49, handoff, Anthony Taylor, left side, breaking a tackle across the 45, inside the 40-yard line, and marked down right there. Anthony D. Taylor, by the way, bounced off a tackle by Dolan, Gains 11 yards and a first down. Out of the shotgun to Williams. Here's a blitz, six-man rush. Williams throws near side, too high. Bobbled and intercepted at the 10 to the 15 to the 20. Coming left to right at the 25 and down to the 27-yard line. Snap is back, four-man rush. Zappi looking, hit, and down he goes. Hal Vincent shooting right through. A sack back at the 16-yard line brings up fourth down. His first punt traveled 39 yards. Swings the right leg, high spiraling punt, backpedaling and making the catch of the 15th of returner, who is drowned back at the 12-yard line by Frankie Griffin. Bobcat showing a blitz. Here it comes. Five-man rush. Zappi rolls out of it. Steps up against the pressure. Hit and down he goes. Jordan Mitty, the sack back at the 32-yard line. Bobcast three in the line. They'll rush four. Zappi pressured. Gets out of his sack. Loses the football at the 20 yard line. Dove on by Davis at the 19. And the Bobcats have their big play. Shotgun snap to Williams. Handoff to Taylor running left. Breaking tackles. Taking Huskies with them. But then bubbles the football at the five yard line. And HBU has it right back. Typical first ball game. I think if you look across the country today, I talked to our team in pregame warm-up about uh, uh, the difference in ball games, special teams, uh, turnovers, uh, and just true execution, mainly on offense, mainly on offense. Uh, we were able to block a kick tonight, which was really good. We really weren't sharp in some special teams. I thought our kickoff team wasn't very good uh, tonight. Um, uh, we, you know, again, uh, we, we've got a lot of work to do. I think we got some work to do in our punt game. Uh, offensively, we, we, we shot ourselves in the foot. I think we had four turnovers tonight. I count, I count we had an interception, uh, a safety, uh, a fumble, and a turnover on downs. I count all four of those as, as, as turnovers. Snap is back, four-man rush. Williams steps up, now scrambles right, throws right, passes, caught for the first down inside the 40. And there again is Elijah King, crown that man right now, down to the 39-yard line. The snap is set down, the kick is up by Sherman, and the Bobcats are on the board in 2017. A 25-yard field goal hit by James Sherman. 4.25 to go, first half, 9-3 HBU. Second and 11, blitz is on and it pays off. Frankie Griffin brings down Zappi back at the 10-yard line to set up third down at a mile. Now coming in motion is Hayes, handoff. There's a snap to Williams, breaking the tackle, lunging forward is the end. He is touchdown, Texas State, Damian Williams.
And that the end of the first half. Bobcats, again, a rocky start of this game, but close the first half out strong. Your score, 10-9. The thing about Damian, uh, he's an older guy, so you can look out there, read a coverage, and you know to check for something or to change the offensive protection. So having a fifth-year senior, an older guy like that, I thought he did all right, but as a whole team, we got to get better. We looked uh, at times very sloppy, so like Coach said, tomorrow we'll fix our mistake. Second and ten, blitzes on. Zappi steps up, scrambles down, and he is lassoed out of bounds at around the 21 yard line. That was Quinn Tiggs, by the way, the one that was flying in. Boy, he made up a lot of ground quickly, and it brings up third down to nine. On first and ten, handoff Smith running right 40, 30 yard line 20. They will not catch him today. 48 yard run of the house by Anthony Smith. Touchdown, Texas State. Sherman on for the field goal attempt. The kick is up by Sherman, and the kick is good. Sherman so far tonight, perfect. Williams out of the gun again, and motions Hayes from left to right. The snap gets behind Williams, picks it up in the end zone, and trying to reach the football out back beyond the end zone, but cannot, and is stopped in the end zone for a safety. Third down and goal for the two. Big formation here for the Huskies. Two men in the backfield. Three tight ends. Hand off Dickens, and he is denied. Gavin Graham makes a play. Back to the two-yard line, and it brings up fourth and goal. Hand off Ideen, and the Bobcats stuff him at the three-yard line. Gavin Graham again makes another play, along with Gabe Lloyd, and the Bobcats get a turnover on downs. Like, this is it. Like, you know, we have to make a stand right here because they're um, – they're playing a great game, and uh, they're giving us everything they got. Keep, you know, they're swinging, so we got to swing back, and we got to uh, show up right now, get the offense out. Out of the shotgun, Zappy four wide, back pedals to throw. The freshman looking right, pressured, steps up, hit, and down he goes. Easy on Yama. Makes the play to turnover on downs again, forced for the Bobcat defense. When you win and you can go correct, because we got a lot of things to correct, it's always good to be able to do that on a Sunday. So, uh, you know, we're, we're a long way, uh, uh, I guess we're ahead of where we were last year this time. So uh, I'm excited about the direction we're going. We've got a lot of young kids, and uh, hopefully they can get better tomorrow than we were tonight. So uh, we can be better next week. The Texas State Bobcats for the second year in a row under Coach Withers are 1-0. Final score for Bobcat Stadium, Texas State 20, Houston Baptist 11. Show off your tailgating skills and team pride and you could win a $100 HEB gift card and bragging rights. To participate, all you have to do is show your team spirit by decking out your tailgate site and displaying HEB products in a creative way. Check out this week's winner. I'm Lamar and this is the Jank. When something is awesome, we say it's the Jank, which describes my barbecue sauce and my story perfectly. Whenever I used to buy barbecue sauce from the store, I'd always have to add a little of this or that to it. So finally, I just decided to make my own. And after months of experimenting, the jank was born. H-E-B chose it as a quest for Texas best finals. Now that's pretty jank. This is the best in Texas department at H-E-B. Look for these and other great Primo picks at H-E-B. Some beers have a lot of ingredients, a lot of different ingredients. Our beer is brewed with four essential ingredients, barley, rice, water, and hops. Here's to the beer you can always count on, brewed to be America's favorite light lager. What do I like about Texas State? People watching on the quad. I love that we can express ourselves. Our campus is so beautiful. Bobcat football. The glass bottom boat. Our professors are amazing. When I see Old Main, I know I'm home. We're the only university in Texas to graduate a U.S. president. Downtown San Marcos is practically on campus. Our Peck Library. Soapbox Derby. I'm doing amazing research. I'm definitely jumping in the river at graduation. I'm just proud to be a Bobcat. Can I like say all my favorite things? <laughs> Our goal now is to try to transform the players in our program into a better football program, a better football team. An accountability level that's off the charts.
you know, obviously it's good to, to be able to go back to work on Sunday and Monday and uh, Sunday mainly and go correct some things uh, after a victory. It's always be, uh, good to be able to do that. Um, you know, I thought overall uh, the mechanics of the ball game went real well. Um, you know, I always look at we, we, didn't, we didn't have 10 on the field. We didn't have 12 on the field. Those are always the first ball game things that, that I worry about, that I look at. Uh, looking at the film, I thought we played hard. Uh, uh, way too many mental errors on both sides of the ball, especially early on defense and, and really throughout the game on offense. But uh, uh, there are things that we can correct. Uh, really pleased that uh, some of the young guys uh, that got in the game, uh, they did some, some really nice things. Uh, again, mechanics, I think, and timing on offense has to be uh, uh, worked on this week. Uh, we got to be better on the perimeter blocking, uh, which we worked on a good bit on Sunday. Um, defensively, I thought we settled down and played uh, from the second quarter, about the middle second quarter on. I thought we played fairly decent. Um, we got to tackle better early in the game and communicate better throughout the game. Special teams, uh, I thought we did uh, some good things. Uh, we punted the ball well. We, we made all our extra points and field goals, which is always a plus. Uh, so uh, the objective yesterday was to be better than we were Saturday. I thought we went out and had, had a good work day yesterday. Today's a day off, and uh, we'll get ready for our next opponent uh, starting tomorrow. We settled down. We calmed down, just started playing football, doing what we were coaching, doing what we were practicing, what we practiced. I know when you first come out, first game of the season, you know those that excitement builds up. You haven't been on the field in so long, so you kind of just tend to do too much. So we decided we got, went to the sidelines as captains, all the players, and we decided to calm down and play ball. I think Damon was was really excited to get back out there on the field and play. Uh, you know, it's real obvious when you have a guy that's, you know, played a lot of snaps, but he hadn't practiced much during training camp. Uh, he was not very good with his mechanics and timing in a lot of ways. Um, and it showed up. We probably had six opportunities for really big plays in the passing game that uh, uh, we didn't, we didn't uh, make because of throws being high, low, whatever they were. Uh, so again, I think hopefully he continues to get better. He spent a bunch of time Sunday, really kind of on his own, working on uh, working on some of those things after practice and before practice. So I think he's aware of uh, his footwork and things that have to be better uh, for us to have, be more efficient in the passing game. Even the first pass down the field, uh, you know, if we put it out there a little further, we might have you know, scored a touchdown. So uh, I think he did some good things. You know, obviously he has a better command of, of protections and all that stuff. I mean, he can get us in the right, you know, protections most of the time. And he also can, can get himself out of trouble, you know, which, you know, we didn't have that at all last year where a guy can, if there's a free rusher, he can make him miss and, and, and continue to play and keep it alive. So it's good to have that from Damien. And we just got to work on some of the fundamental things. Very talented team. Uh, had a big win versus uh, Colorado State. Uh, uh, you know, they, they, it, it's, it's a testament to building the program the right way. Uh, I think Coach McIntyre has uh, done a really good job of, of building it piece by piece um, and, and getting talent and depth along with that talent. Uh, they lost nine guys on defense last year, and you, wouldn't, you couldn't tell when they played Colorado State that they lost nine guys. Um, the talent that they had coming back, really talented at free safety, really talented at, at uh, the, the inside backer position and big up front uh, on the defensive line. So uh, those are good things. Quarterback's a talented player, uh, strong arm, athletic, uh, good skill guys outside at wide out, very talented, couple of talented running backs. Uh, we're going to have to do a good job of protecting the edges. They want to, you know, they want to run counters and, and, and get the ball on the edge of your defense some and, and then crease you down the middle and the quarterback can uh, throw it over the top of you. So uh, we've got to do a really good job defensively this week of, of limiting yards uh, after contact and, and big plays down the field. And offensively, we've got to find a way to put drives together and keep the ball out of their offensive hands. I used to be into the crowd stuff, not really anymore. So what do you tell the freshmen then that are, right. you have that mindset? Right. I, I tell them, you, you can, it's not, it's not a crime to be excited about the environment, but don't forget to do what you came here for, do your job and play ball.
ever wonder what's in a beer? If it's a Bud Light, it's four essential ingredients. Barley, rice, water, and hops. Here's to the beer you can always count on. Brewed to be America's favorite light lager. What do I like about Texas State? People watching on the quad. I love that we can express ourselves. Our campus is so beautiful. Bobcat football. The glass bottom boat. Our professors are amazing. When I see Old Main, I know I'm home. We're the only university in Texas to graduate a U.S. president. Downtown San Marcos is practically on campus. Our Peck Library. Soapbox Derby. I'm doing amazing research. I'm definitely jumping in the river at graduation. I'm just proud to be a Bobcat. Can I like say all my favorite things? <laughs> They're tenacious, driven. You know, honestly, I think they're fun. Their energy level is great. Um, their energy level is great, and like I said, it's it's thinking you know, the same pace, the same ideas, and they've got to be together. <laughs> uh, we have some finishers. They've just got some innate ability to know when to hit it and know how to finish. Um, so I'm excited about the firepower. The devastation of Hurricane Harvey was immense and tragic. Thousands of homes were destroyed, countless more lives affected, and in some cases, lost. If there was one silver lining from the events of Hurricane Harvey, it's that it brought out some of the best in people, some of those offering helping hands to others who were in need. And that group includes the Texas State family. Texas State was one of seven FBS schools to collect supplies, and with the assistance of the Houston football program, loaded up the Texas State equipment truck and transported those supplies to Houston. Prior to the game, both teams walked out for the captain's meeting and coin toss to show solidarity with Houston Baptist. During the coin toss, the Texas flag was on display in the end zone, and right before game start, the two teams shook hands in midfield as well. A web page for Bobcat fans who want to donate is available by going online to txdebobcats.com backslash help. There you'll find links to the American Red Cross and the Texas State GoFundMe page. Once again, that website, txdebobcats.com backslash help. I'm Brent Freeman, and we'll be right back with more of the Path Texas State Football. Our goal now is to try to transform the players in our program into a better football program, a better football team. An accountability level that's off the charts. Hey, do it again, do it again. Don't be in a rush to speak, right? Remember, quick, but not in a hurry. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Get the hand up, get the hand up. Underneath, let's go. Yeah! Tighten that hand up. Touch. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Boom, nice job. Nice job, nice job. QB's on the hop, let's go. 
You look like you're getting like stuck right here. I am. Yeah. But you don't look like that when you're with the trainers, do you? Is no, because your... I, I do heat pack first, then I do stretches first, then I go through. So tell me this. Why won't you do that before you come out to practice? You can't go in there and just get heat pack and stretches before when you get in, in a meetings? Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. That way you don't feel tight. You, yeah. you think I got no juice today? Oh! I should have gotten loose. I should have warmed up. Do it again. Start again. Start again. Start again. Start again. Start again. Start again. Let's go. Let's go. Why did I stop you? We got to get real big on that first one. And we kind of got to gain a little hop back if we're going to do that and plan it. Quicker. 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 Get your look. We're running, reading shallow, right? We're reading deep. Picture something. Reset off, come back off your primary. Boom, one, two, three, off it, come back, nice. You got to here, boom, and then you, instead of resetting your feet and throwing it, you just stepping through it, right? Now only your front foot's going towards and your body's all over the place. Really, if it really work on it, getting, getting, here, reset my hips all the way around so I can drive it, I'll spin off it. Really, 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 really. You got me? Boom, and now as I come out, come out with a little depth, but come out running with my eyes up, I'm running. You went like, you see that? When you're running with the ball like this. You got all this exposed from two sides, right? Right here, where are you gonna punch the ball? And then if I wrap it, where are you gonna punch it? If you punch it, where's it gonna go? Right into me, right? If you punch it like this, where's it gonna go? Right down and out. Oh, rip it, rip it, rip it. It's on you, man. Go again, go again, give me the ball. No, I know, I know, I know. Go again, go again, go again, go again, go again. Let's go, last one, last one, last one. If you put it right where you need it, right? You go ask him, say, hey, is that what you want? Is that not what you want? Say, go help me out. Say, I thought I threw that really good. Boom, that's it. First two, first two, first two. Boom, make him miss. Point, one, satellite, two hands. Hey, Bobcats, make sure to show your love and follow the Bobcats on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and their YouTube channel. What do I like about Texas State? I love that we're close to Austin and San Antonio. The observatory, great stargazer. Our tech library. Our professors are amazing. Our round theater building. People watching on the quad. We're the only university in Texas to graduate a U.S. president. Our campus is so beautiful. I love our flexible class schedules. Saving turtles at the turtle crossing. Downtown San Marcos is practically on campus. The new labs at Star Park. I love that we can express ourselves. Grabbing lunch at Jones. Bobcat football. The glass bottom boat. Soapbox derby. <laughs> I'm doing amazing research. I love the squirrels around campus. I love exploring new ideas at Common Experience. When I see Old Main, I know I'm home. The courtyard at Taylor Murphy. I love our student art gallery. Climbing the rock wall at the rec center. I'm definitely jumping in the river at graduation. I'm just proud to be a Bobcat. Can I like say all my favorite things? <laughs> After opening the season this past Saturday at home, the Bobcats play their first road game this Saturday as they head to beautiful Boulder to take on the Colorado Buffaloes. For more insight on Colorado, we're joined by Mark Johnson, radio voice of the Buffaloes. And Mark, Colorado is coming off a remarkable season from last year, playing for the Pac-12 championship, going 10-4, and, and like the Bobcats, off to what it will start this season. Looking back at the last 12 months for this program, what's been most impressive? Well, when you consider, Brad, where this thing was, and, and this is my 14th season. So I get here in 2004, Gary Barnett's the head coach. In 2001, they had nearly played for the national championship. They had had a phenomenal long run of, of, you know, going all the way back to the national title in 1990. Gary got fired in 2005. Ten years it took to finally get a turnaround, which they did in 2016. So the job that Mike McIntyre did, building the program, building a foundation, changing a culture. He did this first couple of years. And then in year three, it finally clicked, or four, I should say, it finally clicked. And uh, they, they turned around and playing for the Pac-12 title, playing in an upper-level bowl game, uh, winning the Pac-12 South. It was just impressive to change the culture after 10 straight years of, of losing. And Mike did a fantastic job with that, with the help of obviously his staff and, and some very key components on this team in, in regards to the roster. So that, that was what was impressive. The fact that you could turn that long a period of time into a winning season and kind of put this team back and this program back where it's supposed to be was awful impressive. 
Let's focus now on Colorado's offense. 17 points in the opener against Colorado State with Philip Lindsay, the star tailback, lead of the way, rushing for a buck 40 and a touchdown. During your time covering Colorado, you've seen a lot of great running backs. What makes Lindsay stand out? Well, he's one of those guys. He's a heartbeat guy. One of those guys, he only had one dream, and that was to be a Colorado Buffalo. And there's a coaching change. John Embry is like, go. Mike McIntyre comes in. Uh, there's questions whether Lindsey's going to be, you know, that, that scholarship is going to be honored. Mike says he went to his house, walks in. The kid is smaller than he expected, only weighed 172 pounds or something at the time. He's got a bad leg and is thinking, really? This is the guy that I've been told is going to be a running back when it's all said and done. He said, then I sat down and talked to the kid, and there was something in his eye. There was a passion. There was a commitment. And, and he said to Mike McIntyre, you wanted that scholarship because I will never make you regret that. I will give you every single thing I've got. He's one of those guys. He just bleeds black and gold. And I know every program might have one of these guys, but he really is a heartbeat kind of guy for this football team. And that's what really makes him special. He's great catching the ball out of the backfield. He obviously runs the ball very well. Uh, he's tough. He's durable, even though he's not the biggest guy in the world. But he's the guy that really is the heart and soul of this football team, and that's what makes him special on the field and in the locker room. Let's talk defense now. Last week, the Buffaloes held Colorado State to three points a week after they had scored 58 against Oregon State. This is one of the better defenses in the Pac-12 a year ago. Who are some of the names that we should be watching out for this Saturday in Boulder? Well, I'll give you the number one name. And this guy, I had an NFL scout tell me a few weeks ago he might be a top ten pick in the first round of the NFL draft, and that is cornerback Isaiah Oliver. There were three guys in that secondary a year ago that are all on NFL rosters right now. And the best one of them all might be number 26, Isaiah Oliver. He's also a track and field guy for the Buffs. He's a decathlete. And you know how well-rounded they have to be as athletes. Rick Gamboa is a middle linebacker. There's nothing physically that really stands out. One of those guys that can do the mental gymnastics. I mean, he's, you know, coaches talk about him being a coach on the field. And then up front, keep an eye open for uh, Derek McCartney. He's legendary coach Bill McCartney's grandson. Uh, he got hurt after getting a strip sack for a touchdown last year in the second game of the season at Michigan. He has come back healthy, and, and he's a guy they really expect to put pressure on opposing quarterbacks. So there's one from each level of defense for the Calvary of Buffalo. So I think maybe Texas State fans should keep an eye on it as well. Last week's game against the Rams was in Denver. This week, Colorado plays its home opener as they host the Bobcats there in Boulder. As we know, the Buffs will play the role of favorite, the Bobcats, the underdog. What are your expectations in the matchup this Saturday in Boulder? Well, I, I think for, for the Buffaloes, uh, they, they come away from the CSU game. First off, happy they won that game, but not happy with their performance. I think their defense played pretty darn well, considering they had to replace all the starters from a year ago. Uh, so I think they're happy there. But offensively, they never did click in that ball game. And going into the season, we all kind of thought they'd lean on their offense until the defense kind of caught up and kind of found itself. So I don't think they were happy with what they did offensively. And so I think there's going to be an enormous emphasis put on that unit playing better against Texas State at 12 noon Mountain Time on Saturday. Thanks again to Mark, and that will do it for this week's episode. I'm Brant Freeman reminding you to trust the path. We'll see you next time.